What's up everybody? Welcome back to Exotic Astrology again. God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and he will be there. Welcome back. If you are new to the channel then please subscribe to it below. And please consider watching this video till the end because you are going to love this. <laughs> Even if I keep smiling because some people are feeling irritated by that. All right. So today's video is, <laughs> I've been waiting to make this video, but finally now I have decided it's high time that I make it. The video's topic is, what are the things that you should not ask me? I didn't say don't ask me anything. I said, what are the things that you don't better ask me? And I will try to be as much as respectful when I make this video but sometimes things may go out of control so if it hurts somebody then I apologize before itself my intention is not to hurt or insult or denigrate or criticize or downgrade anybody or even if you are one of those people who had asked me these questions probably you are one of those people who are, who are watching this video well then I am sorry I have to take your examples I will not take your names. Do not worry. <laughs> that is the level of confidentiality which I give to every person who approaches me. All right. Let's begin. So, I will give some examples of people who had uh, asked me during their consultations a cert uh, certain questions which... Ideally, should never be asked to any astrologer. I'm not talking of myself here. Never do this with any other astrologer or anybody who is sharing divine knowledge with you. Astrology is not directly spiritual, but it is a bridge between material and the spiritual realm because it, what astrology is basically, astrology is simply a means to make you understand how helpless you are. Should I repeat? Astrology is simply a means which Parashara has given us to understand how helpless you are, <laughs> how helpless I am, how helpless everybody is. One thing gets activated and that's it. You cannot do anything. Nothing works. No gemstones, no remedies. We will go to remedy some other time. But what I am saying is, Basically, when you learn astrology, you understand that God is so powerful. That the nine planets which control us as per our karma, whatever we do, how much ever we try, but we still cannot escape fully. We are under the stringent laws of the material nature. As Lord Krishna says in the Bhagavad Gita, Mana Shasthani Indriyani Prakriti Sthani Karshati the living entity is working very hard in this material world to sustain himself because of his desires. Alright. So, in during the course of this video, I will be giving out certain examples of people and I am very much dissatisfied with the approach which these people have taken for this video, uh, for, for their consultation with me and some of them have taken consultation and some of them did all this before they took any consultation so let's start so there was uh, one person from a country i will not take name so this person told me that so he had sent me uh, the mail in that it was written i mean he was born on 70s i think 1970s or nearby that time and then he asked me a question in the mail when I asked him that send your questions. He asked me a question. I was taken aback when I saw that. He asked me, how was my career from 1985 to 2015? I was like, what do you mean by that? How was my career? <laughs> I said, how does it matter? I mean, how was your career? We just have to do of the future. So then what did this person try to do when I asked him this question? He tried to cover it up. And I was foolish that I didn't understand what he was doing. 
what i thought was he has done a uh, typing mistake or i thought he was trying to ask me that how is my current job in synchrony with the the with the last job which i was doing or should i change it or something like that do you see a progression or something in the future i thought he was asking a question of that sort but no he was not asking that what he was asking me was he was trying to test me that can i give him the prediction of what happened in the past what happened how was his career from 1995 to 2015 I don't know. I, then I saw the horoscope and I said, "My dear sir, what is this? That has already happened. Why are you interested in knowing that?" So what he said is, "No, no. I just want to know uh, how things have been." <laughs> so basically, you are testing me. Yes. So you want me to waste time in telling things from your past also. Yes. Well, I am not going to do that. <laughs> even if you want me even if you pay me a million euros i i'm not going to waste time on the past because i always believe past is not what defines you because every sinner has a future and every saint had a past always remember this so that doesn't mean that past doesn't matter at all that is another extreme but i do not unnecessarily dwell into the past if you want a consultation then it has to be very specific to some areas pertaining to your life or some future events so please do not try to test me by asking these questions all right okay yeah and there was another girl who once called me for a consultation regarding her father's health so what she was doing is she asked me that there was one very prominent event in the life of my father which changed his life please tell me that event I said your father is sixty years old. Sixty years means the father would have had so many events. How in the universe can a person tell that which event it is? <laughs> that to one event. Okay, you tell me the year. I will tell you what happened. She said, No, no, I will not tell you the year. I said, Okay, tell me it is related to what at least. I said, No, 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 no. I will not tell you. You have to tell me. the year and what happened i said madam <laughs> your father could have had a break up when he was 15 or he might have had an accident you have to give me some direction where i have to look at least don't make a fool out of yourself she said no 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 but it was a very big transformative event astrologers should be able to see that i said you are correct and astrologers should be able to see that but you have to tell me the time because i cannot go on checking every dasha every mahadasha every pratyantar every transit of every planet every month wise okay today moon is transiting uh, rohini in libra ascendant's eighth house but tomorrow it's going to mrikshira <laughs> then it's again going to the ninth house you see so you want me that for uh, 60 into 365 every day i have to study moon's transit well then get well soon it's not going to happen <laughs> i am not going to do that and then she said oh i thought astrology is very potent to give me answers i said i don't know maybe parashara has that level of knowledge but at least i don't and i don't know any sane astrologer in this world whoever he is i don't care he cannot tell you i'm telling you this <laughs> whoever he is unless he is a rishi he cannot tell you if you just say this, this is like going to a doctor and saying saying oh doctor in my childhood something happened can you tell me what happened or anything can happen your eye must have gone down you might have got a headache here and a blow here or maybe you had a heart break i can do that if you pay me accordingly but that uh, that cannot happen in one consultation me you have to pay me 10 times of the money because then i can do no problem then i will sit for every year first year second year third year i will do that but you have to pay me 10 times more the money because that will uh, take me a whole day <laughs> 60 years of the life or life of the father has to be seen so i can do that i have no problem 
but that cannot happen with the consultation of uh, a single person in that time i am sorry it can't happen so this uh, these are uh, some questions which you should never ask to any astrologer what is another question which uh, another person from netherlands i will not take his name he had asked me so this person he contacted me and he said i saw your videos in youtube i am planning to take a consultation from you and then he said but first you have to give me four correct predictions of my past only then i will decide should i go ahead with your consultation or not <laughs> i said what kind of a logic is this do you go to a i store iphone store do you go there and say no 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 first i will use for one month then if i feel it is good na then i will give you 1 lakh rupees now how much is the price of iphone x it's roughly 1 lakh rupees right in indian currency i was seeing in the german store it is some 1195 euros which roughly translates to um, around 80 90000 in indian currency that's a huge lot of money so if you do not do that in i store if you do not do that in a mercedes benz showroom please don't do that here all right if you do i will not respond so then what this person did is he and even if you are watching this video i simply don't care <laughs> in fact i want that you watch this video so that people fear because if you do nonsense i will reveal things i'm i will not reveal your name don't worry <laughs> i will keep that confidential but the things which you do i will reveal that don't bring nonsense to me if you give it to me i will throw it back to you all right i will not take revenge i will just simply say i can't do that because i don't believe in all this nonsense revenge violence and all this just sit down and chill let karma do the job what i'm saying is if you think that by telling all this to me i am running hungry after money because of consultation no oh just because i need money okay then i i will give you four correct predictions from your life because i have to fill myself right i have to fill my stomach i am in so much need of money well if you think like that then your uh, there's some serious problem because that's not the truth <laughs> because by the grace of almighty <laughs> i may not be a millionaire i may be still a student studying in the university of gottingen but by the grace of lord vishnu hari who is the original second house of the zodiac belt yes second house is the house of vishnu it is known as vishnu sthan not vishnu sthan means the kendras are known as vishnu sthan but the second house itself is called the house of vishnu because that is the house of food that which sustains you in this world food money resources so by the grace of the supreme lord i am having well enough resources that i don't have to prove myself like this by giving you four correct predictions why four at least even one also all right <laughs> so do not play these tricks with me so then i pers- uh, as as this person uh, no i am not going to do that then what he did he took a snapshot of his birth chart just just the birth chart nothing else and he said now you predict four events i said i am not going to do that then what he said is okay then take the birth details i said birth details you are giving me that means i am already looking into your chart that is already a consultation i can do that but then you have to pay me double the money <laughs> because then i will do two consultations right he said no 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 then i will not take consultation from you then i just told him get well soon <laughs> why do you waste your valuable time doing all this nonsense and why do you waste my time also so much time i chatted with this person such a waste of time time is money in this world do not waste 
my time by sending such messages please do not if i get any message next time from somebody i will simply block that number yes you may call me arrogant stupid angry whatever you want now there was another person this person told me that oh i am in very much distress please help me i am going to die this is happening that is happening oh yeah before going to the next person this person from netherlands something very interesting so what this person said i, I said no i i i don't go on giving uh, such proofs to people okay then this person told oh there's a great astrologer sunil john he told me that unless an astrologer can give you at least four correct predictions of your past do not go to that astrologer he told me that sunil john has told him like that sunil john of saptarishi's astrology he has told like that well then i said it is up to you to decide who you want to follow so if you want to follow him you can follow but then you will also have consequences like i denied to do his consultation you go to any other astrologer who is famous i, I will not take names here but because he took the name of sunil john so i am using his name here so if you want to follow what sunil john said then you have to be ready for the consequences let me see who gives him a consultation <laughs> i am very sure nobody will give him he will roam in this universe like a headless being now i am not saying what sunil john said was wrong but i am simply saying i am asking to you people is that practical so then what will happen tomorrow every other person will send me their horoscope and then i have to do an analysis of one hour okay for because you want to predict one event or you want to predict 10 events there's no difference you have to see panchang you have to see dasha you have to see transit you have already seen the entire horoscope so you have already done the consultation so if you want to follow who says that unless four correct predictions are given do not go to that astrologer well then be ready for the consequences then better you go and ask sunil john only that can you tell me some astrologers who are there who so great that who have so much time that they will uh, see your horoscope without money and then they will first give you four predictions <laughs> and then they will go and give you the whole chart reading at least i i will not say that to anybody like that yes there are principles of who should become an astrologer who who can do consultations those are different areas i am not touching here he should have a very pure lifestyle he should follow the four regulatory principles no meat eating no gambling no illicit sex no intoxication if any astrologer is doing any of these four he is breaking one of the four regulatory principles which is mentioned in the shrimad bhagavatam he is not qualified to be an astrologer or a guide because these four illicit sex intoxication gambling and meat these four activities come under rahu if you are associated with rahu whoever you are you cannot give jupiter jupiter and rahu are opposites and this i am not saying i am not giving some uh, dictum here <laughs> this is what shrimad bhagavatam says guru na sasyat pita na sasyat janani na sasyat na devo cha na patim cha you do not have the right to become a guru a father a mother <laughs> or a relative or even husband if you cannot lead the soul to god and now you will say oh but i can do all this and i can also lead the soul to god no if you are doing all this that means if you are breaking all these principles these four principles which i just said that means you are under the jurisdiction of rahu so if you are only controlled by rahu how the hell will you bring other people to jupiter that's not possible if you think you are doing that you are in illusion <laughs> so th this is one very strong criteria which astrologer should have apart from all those things he should be clean he should speak the truth th th those are secondary this is primary four regulatory principles 
and I'm using the reference of Bhagavatam here. Bhagavatam says this. I'm not saying this. You can go and open Bhagavatam. <laughs> you can go and search in Srimad Bhagavatam. Guru Nasasyat, Pita Nasasyat, Janani Nasasyat. You can search that verse. Go and type in Google. It is there in Bhagavatam. I do not remember which canto it is, but it is there. If it is not there, then write to me in the comments. I will tell you where that is. <laughs> if 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 I remember correctly, Rishabh Dev says this to Bharat Maharaj and others. Rishabh Dev is Vishnu's avatar himself. That one who cannot take somebody towards spirituality, he is, he has no right to be called a guru. Now, I am not saying that this person is a guru or that person is not a guru. I am not judging anybody here. But what I am saying is, there are criteria by which you judge somebody. Yes, the, these four principles, you have to check if the person is following. And if the person is not following, then, uh, well, I am sorry. You will simply be going into a deep dark well, as the Bhagavatam says, Andhakupam. You are simply going down. There is no elevation in your life. The advice of that person cannot help you. Alright. So this is the next thing which I said. So if you are following somebody who says that. Oh please. Uh, no, go and say give me four correct predictions. Now I know that. That is not something very practical. And when Sunil John would have said that to him. To this person. He would have said in a general sense. But he also would have had no idea that somebody will use his statement like this and go. Imagine what if everybody starts doing like that tomorrow. So you can do that or you can go and ask Sunil John itself. That my dear sir, can you only suggest me to go to some astrologer who behaves like this? Because in my knowledge, there's nobody. <laughs> because if you do that with uh, a cinema movie show, you go and say, no, 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 no. First, I will sit half an hour and then I will decide should I see this movie or not. They will throw you out there. <laughs> In India, there is this IPL, Indian Premier League. Indian Premier League. <laughs> or you go to a baseball, basketball, rugby show. You just go and tell them. Sir, sir, sir. First, I will sit 10 minutes. No, then I will decide. They will throw you out. They will say simply get lost. First, you pay and then you get the services. All right. That is how it happens everywhere. And that is how it should happen here also. At least with me, it happens like that. Do not try to twist the system. If you try to twist that, then I also know how to turn it back. <laughs> <laughs> and the last thing, two more things which uh, some people have said. So these are general things which people say. So there was another lady who uh, had messaged me, mailed me that, Oh, I am in deep distress. Nah, please see my horoscope for free. I do not have money to give you. This, that. Oh my God. So many things she wrote. And another thing is, please, my humble request to you. I am begging to your feet. Please do not send me essays. I simply don't have time to read all those. <laughs> the moment I see anything more than two lines, I will simply delete the mail. Unless you have given that heading from my website and you have sent me the uh, details of the payment. Unless that you have done, I'm sorry, I'm not going to read what happened when you were at the age of 10. I do not have time. I simply do not have time. I wish I could do that. But at this point in my life, I do not have time to do that. All right. <laughs> so this lady, she told me that, Oh, I'm in deep distress. Now I'm planning this, that. Can you help me? I said, uh, well, uh, when you have the finances, you can contact me. So what this lady told me is, Oh, by seeing your videos, I thought you are a bit different from the other astrologers. I said, what makes you feel like that? She said that, Oh, you give spirituality also into that. So I thought you are not after money or you are not after finances or material wealth <laughs> so being spiritual doesn't mean you do not uh, receive payments that's nonsense if somebody thinks like that because you need to pay your bills this big room where I am sitting nobody is financing this I have to do it myself if you don't have money then how will I have money 
see it is not the question of money i am not bringing money 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 here you understand it is about the principle which i am saying so then this lady she blasted on me that oh you are a fake person you are like this you are like that na i thought you are very spiritual so her definition of spiritual is one who does not take money <laughs> that's such a low level conception of spirituality and the last type of questions which sometimes people ask me is okay okay please tell me from where you learned how many years you learned how many people have you seen consultation how many years have you done this how many what you did here what you did there i do not have time to reply all this <laughs> i do not have time to reply paragraphs and essays so please refrain from sending all those if you want that some thing related to your life reaches me then i am giving a very big tip do not waste time sending essays and paragraphs all right <laughs> and if you want proof about my experience my knowledge then there's a saying the proof of the pudding is in the eating so instead of going to 10 years of my history where i did what and which guru i went and all this i will talk about all those in some other video but if you want a proof directly then you can see my videos which most of you are watching obviously <laughs> So there's no doubt about it. All right. So the proof of the pudding is in the eating. So instead of wondering and trying to know, see if you are asking me, that's a different question. But if you uh, tell me that no, no, I just want to make sure. Now I'm putting my money in the right place. Well, then I'm sorry. I cannot keep uh, replying the essays which you sent. I do not have time. I simply do not have time. <laughs> i wish i had so these are questions which you should refrain from asking me all right when you mail me please 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 do not waste time so from now if somebody sends all these mails or some message to me in whatsapp i will straight away delete their number the entire message itself i will delete it will go to thrash can i am not going to see it you call this arrogance whatever you want to call it you call because i don't have time that is the only problem i do not have time to read all those essays which people sent i seriously don't have time <laughs> so if you want to benefit me and yourself please stick to one liners and that doesn't mean you write 20 one liners <laughs> then also i will write away delete it be very 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 precise visit my website and then follow the instructions if you just mail me oh i want consultation that is not going to happen i am not going to reply to you the link to the website is there go there and follow the process all right it's been a very long video that is what i wanted to say it is not very good on our part to deal with astrologers like that even i have never dealt so i would expect everybody not to deal with anybody like that because that damages your jupiter because you are insulting the personality you are mixing jupiter and rahu you are doubting actually doubt is nothing but rahu you may say i am just inquiring to know but you are doubtful inside because even after the 200 videos which i have uploaded if you feel that i do not have the expertise that means you are simply doubting you may say that no no i am just asking for information sake but get well soon <laughs> do not try to trick me if you trick me i will also trick you tit for tat <laughs> no i will not trick trick you i will simply ignore you because i do not believe in all this nonsense tit for tat or if somebody uh, came and did something to it is because of your own karma the person has done why should i re uh, restart my cycle of karma suppose somebody sends a mail like this that oh i thought you are spiritual and what do you think i, I will blast that person oh what do you think now being spiritual means now you have nothing to do in life or what no i simply delete the mail <laughs> because i don't believe in this uh, 
philosophy in the mundane sin circles which is known as tit for tat i seriously do not believe in that that's such a nonsense which has been propagated that okay somebody has blasted you go and blast that person no i am not going to do that why should i do saturn is there <laughs> Saturn is there to do that. Rahu is there. Let their dasha come, then you will understand. All right. Therefore, this video has been very long. My humble request is, if you send me mails and if you want that I read it, then please be very precise. That's for your good itself. I'm saying. All right. There you go. God is there with you all the time. Just look to Him, and He will be there. until next time with other examples of what not to ask astrologers okay bye bye see you